Hey Earth Signs and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your daily love reading for Friday the 21st of December. Um, I'm going to do uh, all Earth Signs but I'm going to do you by Zodiac today. So we'll start with Taurus. What does Taurus have going on for the 21st of December in love? Okay. So... Okay. All right. Your bottom of the deck is the Knight of Cups in reverse and then the Six of Cups in reverse. So you were hoping that someone would come forward um, and give love a second chance with you. This is somebody that you have children with or somebody that you've been with for a very long time or um, somebody that you have known since childhood. But this is a partner that you wanted to rekindle with. Um, things broke up in the past. Things um, were really shaken up. This uh, relationship ended up... Um, yeah, this relationship ended up breaking down. Um, it was built on false uh, security, on a false foundation. There was a lot of things that were said between the two of you, Taurus, that um, really cut to the uh, cut to the heart. It hurt you really bad because you do have the Three of Swords, so you're heartbroken over the relationship ending with this person. You consider them a blessing. You consider them um, somebody that you need in life to manifest um, something in the future, but um, unfortunately, this relationship is not moving forward. Um, it is. It is at a standstill. Um, it's saying that you need to find healing in your heart, in your mind, in your soul. Because there was a lot of conflict between the two of you. A lot of outside influences as well. Or outside partners. This could have been a third party situation with the three of swords. But it doesn't have to be um, necessarily. This is just the breakdown of your relationship. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I just said it didn't have to be a third party. But it was. Um, there was some deceit going on here. Your partner or you, Taurus, had a third party. And um, you are the one that is ending up with the broken heart. Um, because they're moving forward, moving away from this situation. Um, and you're kind of just stuck there dealing with the aftermath of what this tower has, um, has created. What's the outcome? Okay. Yeah, you're just, you could have been connecting with a Virgo. Uh, but things are not manifesting here. Yeah, there wasn't... You were being lied to with these uh, Ace of Swords in reverse with the Seven of Swords. And you just feel like you've been left out in the cold. You are, as a result of this, going to um, kind of close down. You're emotionally going to um, pull back from, from, from investing your emotions in, in anybody right now. Until you can um, heal from this broken heart, um, are things going to move forward and into something that you deserve that's better for you? Um, I do see somebody coming into your guys' um, energy within the next two to three months for this group of you that is currently going through a separation or a divorce from a partner, Taurus. So continue to heal. Keep your head up. Um, let that heart and all its wounds heal. And you do have true love coming in for you very soon, within a couple months. All right, let's go to uh, Virgos. What does Virgo have going on for Friday, the 21st of December? Okay. So Virgo, there's something that you're being shown here by the universe, something you're being offered and you're not seeing what it is. There's something you have to open your eyes to. You're concentrating on what you did wrong, what happened, what you're concentrating on this third party situation. You see the three cups here, three cups on the ground there. You're concentrating on what uh, went wrong, what they didn't offer you, what you didn't offer them, whoever has the third party here. But the universe is trying to show you that your blessing is right in front of you. You just have to take action. You have to move forward and not... Um, lie to anybody. You have to come forward and tell the truth about what is going on, or this person has to do this to you. There's something not being said here, and that's what's holding 
um, you back from going after the one cup that you desire, that you want. Um, you showed up here in your own reading. So you are drawn back right now. You are not offering anything to anybody because you're stuck. Um, you do have, or you will come forward and make this love offer or someone will offer it to you. Yeah, but you have to get out of this place of feeling trapped. You feel like you're stuck and there's no reason to feel stuck. You have a way out. You just have to look around. You have to realize um, what is being offered to you. What is it that you're missing? Um, and there will be cause for celebration in the future. If you allow yourself to get out of this thought that you're not enough or that you're stuck where you're at and continue to move because right now you're stuck with the Knight of Pentacles. You're not moving anywhere because you don't know who you want to invest in. You don't know, you know who you want to invest in, but you don't know how to get to that point. So um, it's encouraging you to start moving forward. Even if it's baby steps, move forward um, and, and speak your truth. Because right now you're emotionally withdrawn. You are being shown or enlightened in uh, which direction you are meant to move in, which direction you are supposed to be um, going on your spiritual journey, your spiritual path. You will make an offer to somebody or somebody will to you. I don't know if it's going to be enough, quite honestly, um, because you're going to have to leave a family situation, um, whoever it is that you are currently... Um, entertaining. <laughs> uh, this cycle has to end before you can move forward and offer this love to somebody or somebody's going to think it's not enough. If you're still in this family situation, if you're still with this other person, this person will not accept this offer because they need more movement out of you. You can't be, um, you can't have both situations and this person going to accept. Um, it's time to invest in yourself. It's time to uh, allow yourself to um, to plant your seeds of intention. So when it does come time to manifest this situation, you're already going to have your um, seeds in place. And it's also a card of patience. This situation can't change overnight, but it does have to start to move. Um, you do have the nine of pentacles here. Uh, so, but it came out in reverse. So you are in a need of self investment. You need to increase your self confidence. You can move forward. You can get out of the situation that you don't want to be in. And when you move out of the situation that you no longer um, want to be in, you will find success with whoever it is that you want to start a light with, life with. Whoever it is that you want to offer this love to, there is a lot of success here. You just have to have the courage, the strength, and to um, the courage and strength to move forward and go after what it is that you want, Virgos. All right, Capricorns. What do our Capricorn friends have for December twenty first in love? So some of you uh, were left. Uh, in the past by somebody uh, or you are the one that left since this is your court card Capricorn you are also getting out of a financial situation that you were struggling with uh, there is a delay in moving forward however in the direction that you want to go in you are experiencing um, some difficult energy right now something that is shaking you up uh, and that could be the reason for the delay you have a lot of inner conflict within yourself about Choosing a love partner, choosing who you want to be with, or um, offering your love to somebody new. You are at the bottom of the deck here with the devil. Um, I do feel that you are tied to somebody still. Um, some balance needs to be brought back into your life. You need to heal and find some emotional balance within yourself as well as um, uh, patience. You need to work on your patience. Like I was just telling Virgo, it doesn't happen overnight, but you have to start moving in that direction in order to get somewhere, in order to show progress. You also have to allow the cycle to end that um, caused you hurt in the past. Allow that chapter to close. Heal from that chapter so that you can move forward and offer something of value to somebody else. Um, once you uh, offer, or once you are able to offer this, 
you do have the Ace of Pentacles and Ace of Cups here. However, they're in reverse. So they are still here for you. They're just, it's not time yet because you have to heal from the hurt of the past, from this deceitful energy and from this tower that's coming down before you can move forward and have a new beginning in love and something stable, um, something that you can build from. So right now your um, advice is just to continue to heal, to find balance in your life. And once this delay is over, you will um, be offered the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles by somebody. I do feel this is somebody new coming towards you, but you still have to heal from that past heartache that you um, are still emotionally out of balance from. So let's get one card from the angels for each zodiac, Virgo or Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn in that order. Thank you. Okay. So Taurus, you guys have, this could be the one. I do feel you've already met the romantic partner you seek, but I do not feel that you have dated this person before. Like I said, this person's going to come in in the next month or two um, after you heal from this split that you guys are currently in with a partner or through this divorce that you guys are going through. Virgo, you guys have separation. You are currently um, having time apart from your partner. Um, like I said, you guys need to, you're emotionally unavailable. You're in that hermit right now. And I do feel you will reach out to the person that you want to build a life with and find success with. And Capricorn, codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. So um, I do think this is a codependency on a person. Some of you, it is a alcohol or chemical or shopping or whatever. It's an over excess of something. But I feel that the majority of you, this is that bond to that five of pentacles um, in reverse that you are um, holding on to. Allow that tower to fall. Allow yourself to break the chains because you also had the devil at the bottom of your deck. Cut the chains away from anything that's holding you down or holding you back and you will find success. But you have to move forward and you have to break away from whatever it is that is no longer good for you. No longer serving um, your greatest good. So, all right, Earth Signs, I hope you guys have a beautiful day. I hope you enjoyed your reading and I will see you next time. God bless.